Dr. J here, Family First Chiropractic, coming at you with your weekly wellness video. This week, we're going to give you one of our favorite recipes, and that's the simple stir fry. I've got Hudson here, he's my little handy dandy chef's assistant in the kitchen, and we're going to show you how we do the stir fry. You're going to see uh, that we've posted the recipe this week on the, the Facebook page and on the website, but here's just a quick tutorial on how to do it. So you see we've got our stir fry, our wok over here. We've got some coconut oil, that's hot already. We've got our frozen vegetables. I'll come back to those in a second. Those are already thawed. Let's see what we're gonna start with. Always gonna start with our fresh vegetables. This is a Savoy cabbage. So we've got this, I'm normally- that's, not right, not right, that's right, buddy, that's right. Normally. I use kelp noodles in this, but they didn't have any kelp noodles this week. So instead, we're just gonna, you saw how we cut that kind of a noodle like on this, uh, this cabbage. Are you gonna watch Daddy cook this? Yeah. yeah, that's a good boy. Give it a little rinse. All right in there with the rest of it. Now that is actually gonna cook down a little bit. This is just gonna form the base. So here, you're gonna need a good carbon steel wok if you're going to start doing stir fries and i'll tell you a little bit more about what you can do with that so here's what your cabbage is going to look like it's going to go right into that hot coconut oil and this is how we're going to get started i'll come back to you when we get this cooked out a little bit okay we're back we've gotten uh since we were gone hud and i have gotten the mushrooms in here we've sauteed down the savoy cabbage a little bit and we've added our tamari now folks what this is this is organic tamari and it's a, it's a gluten-free soy sauce so it's non-gmo it's uh certified organic if you have options on things like this use them if you don't then get what's Get what's available to you. This is soy sauce. If you like soy sauce, this is, gives it a great flavor, so use it. If you have something um, a little bit better with the certifications and that kind of thing, go for it. But if you don't, don't feel bad. Now, this is the other sauce that we use. This is a fish sauce, and this is going to give it some of that umami flavor that really kind of smacks of being a, an Asian dish. So, once you've got that in there, that's right, buddy. We're making some stir fry. Once all that's gone and in there and really, really going, that's kind of shrunk down, you're gonna add your frozen vegetables. These are organic frozen vegetables. This is one pack of green beans, one pack of cauliflower, one pack of broccoli. I've pulled them out here and laid them out flat on the oven while the, uh, on the stove while the oven was going and they thawed very, very quickly. They don't uh, stir fry really well when they're frozen. Thank you, buddy. But now that they are thawed, they're gonna go great. So those are just gonna go right in there with the cabbage and the mushrooms and then we're going to start stir frying those as well we'll come back to you when this gets a little more done so the other flavor that we want to put in here aside from the tamari i always like a little lemon juice in there it's a little bit of acidity it's kind of got a savory feel to it it just really really goes well so a couple lemons I show this to you to, to make sure that you always, when you're cutting up vegetables for the week, leave a bag out and collect these. These are the ends and the bits of the vegetables that I've cut up all today. Here's the end of my broccoli. This is gonna go in the freezer and you're gonna see in a later video when we go over bone broth, these are the vegetable ends that we're gonna use to flavor our bone broth. But other than that, we've got uh, some cilantro here, some really nice organic cilantro. And other than the lemons, and the Savoy cabbage, folks, that is literally all we have had to cut up. So let's just kind of review here really quickly. What we've put in here, we started with some hot coconut oil. Then in goes our fresh vegetables, a whole Savoy cabbage, a couple of packages of sliced white mushrooms. And we put in our sauce, our tamari. My wife reminds me that instead of tamari or soy sauce, you can use a coconut aminos um, if you prefer that flavor or uh, amenable to that flavor then we had our three bags of frozen vegetables that's a green bean a cauliflower and a broccoli that had been thawed we threw in a whole head of cilantro squeezed a couple of lemons in there now I'm gonna put some pecan pieces in there that's gonna give it a little bit of crunch and also some chia seeds you can go pretty liberal with those and this is done for all intents and purposes so now we're going to go to our toasted sesame oil. Give this a finishing oil. So give it a nice little dusting right there over the top. And then you're going to stir this in. 
and that's it. That's, I mean, literally, we are done, folks. It's that easy. And look how much food this makes. This is great for your whole family. This is going to keep all during the week. If you get this nice and cool quickly, package it up quickly, it's going to be really, really good for you. Okay, folks, that's it for today. That is the tutorial on the super easy stir fry. Now, I want to just make a point here. This is not a traditional stir fry. Stir fry really means that's the type of cooking that they're doing. They get these woks intensely hot, they get their oils really, really hot, and the things are literally frying as they're stirring them in there. There's no way on an electric range such as this to get this wok high enough to really, really get that fried um, the, the, the way that they're getting it cooked. This is more of a saute of vegetables that is in the style of a stir fry, so you got to understand that. But having said that, if you don't have one of these woks, this is a carbon steel wok. I think we got this one at Williams-Sonoma for 30 bucks. This is a really, really great pan to have in your kitchen arsenal. You can cut up big heads of fresh vegetables and give them a simple saute and fit a lot in here. You can see how much food we've got in here for this stir fry. You treat this like cast iron, so you're not gonna use soap on it. You get it scalding hot water and you get a brush and you just scrape it out real good. But this has got a seasoning on there that you don't wanna miss. You don't wanna to scrape off and get the soap off. So I really recommend you get a, a wok. You can get the basket that goes on top for steaming vegetables too. Really, really great addition to have uh, for very inexpensive in your kitchen. But this is one of our favorite meals. We make this almost every single week. Thank you, buddy. Because it's so fast and it's so easy and it makes a lot of food that we can take to lunch in our thermoses. We can come home and heat this up just really, really quickly and have dinner, add a chicken breast or something, and you've got a great meal. So we hope that you enjoy the stir fry recipe. There's going to be more recipes to come. Hudson's ready to go. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Mama.